This tale begins in the 6th century BCE, a time when China was divided into different states, each led by its own ruler. These states were like puzzle pieces, sometimes fitting together peacefully showing growth like spring and sometimes clashing in battles showing decline just like autumn. This dance of seasons in divided China is known as the spring and autumn period. And it was named after a historical chronicle called the Spring and Autumn Annals, which recorded events in the state of Lu. Little did anyone know that this state would be the birthplace of a child who could shape the very fabric of society, whose wisdom and insights would one day illuminate the path for generations to come. This is Rapid Rewinds and today we will take you through the fascinating journey of a famous Chinese philosopher. Watch this video till the end to learn how this dance of seasons transformed a young boy to a philosopher the world remembers as Confucius. If you haven't subscribed yet, go hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new video. The name, Confucius, comes from the Chinese name Kong Fuzi, which means, Master Kong. Born with the family name, Kong, and given name, Qiu, Confucius also received the courtesy name, Zhongni upon coming of age, signifying his role as the second son. Confucius stepped into a world ruled by local lords in Lu, where his father served in the garrison. Despite losing his father at an early age, he was nurtured by his mother through tough times. From a young age, Confucius exhibited an insatiable thirst for knowledge and an innate curiosity that would shape his lifelong journey as a scholar and philosopher. He grew up in an environment where questioning the norms and seeking understanding was not only encouraged, but necessary for survival. Confucius's love for curiosity manifested in his relentless pursuit of understanding the world around him. By the time he was just 15, he immersed himself in the study of ancient texts and legends eager to unravel the mysteries of history and culture. This early fascination with stories of heroic figures and wise rulers ignited his passion for learning. Confucius married Lady Chiguan at the age of 19 and was blessed with a son, Kong Li, along with two daughters. Tragically, one daughter passed away in childhood. Despite being born into the Shu class, which occupied a middle ground between the aristocracy and commoners, he found himself navigating the complexities of societal expectations and personal responsibilities. One of the cornerstones of Confucius's education was the acquisition of the six arts, foundational skills that were taught in commoners' schools during his time. However, Confucius's journey was not solely focused on intellectual pursuits. The circumstances of his family required him to seek employment in order to support them. From bookkeeping to animal care, he took on a variety of jobs that provided him with a practical understanding of the challenges faced by people from different walks of life. These experiences gave him a unique perspective on the struggles and aspirations of both aristocrats and commoners, shaping his empathetic approach to social and political matters. The state of Lu was led by a ruling ducal house and three aristocratic families. The Ji family held power over the masses, Meng family managed works, and Xu family oversaw war. Lu saw Confucius navigating intricate power dynamics. It was a time when ethical conduct took precedence over the clash of swords. In the midst of political upheavals, Confucius found himself at a crossroads. While invited to join a rebellion, his opposition to violence led him to decline the offer, choosing a path aligned with his ethical beliefs. By this time, Confucius had gained prominence. In 501 BCE, he became a governor, aiming to centralize power by dismantling the family's strongholds, relying on diplomacy rather than military might. During Confucius's time in the Qi state's government, concerns arose about Lu's increasing influence. Qi attempted to disrupt Lu's reforms with distractions, leaving Confucius disillusioned. He eventually departed due to the duke's failure to provide expected sacrifices. 
After resigning, Confucius journeyed through various states like Wei, Song, Jing, Cao, Chu, Qi, Chen, and Chai. He shared his political beliefs at their courts but saw no implementation. Confucius came back to Lu at age 68, invited by Ji Kangzi, Lu's chief minister. During his return, Confucius advised Lu officials, like Ji Kangzi, on governance and crime matters. In his later years, Confucius's teachings deepened, attracting around 72 to 77 devoted disciples from diverse backgrounds. They embraced his universal wisdom, reflecting the wide reach of his ideas across social strata. Confucius's teachings were organized into the Analects by his followers, turning them into a detailed set of rules and practices. His disciples and grandson, Zisi, carried on his school of thought after his death. This led to Confucian ideals spreading among students who later became officials in royal courts, providing the first significant test of Confucianism's teachings. Prior to exploring Confucius's significant teachings individually, make sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest video updates. The principles of Confucianism shape China's cultural identity, influencing customs, rituals, and societal norms. Here are some of his most important teachings. Ren, meaning benevolence or humaneness, central to Confucianism, this concept emphasizes compassion, empathy, and treating others with kindness and respect. Li, meaning rituals and propriety, Confucius emphasized the importance of observing rituals and proper behavior in various social contexts. Xiao, meaning filial piety, this principle underscores honoring and respecting one's parents and ancestors, reflecting the foundation of strong societal bonds. Yi, meaning righteousness or justice, Yi involves standing up for justice and fairness, regardless of personal gain or loss. Ji, meaning wisdom, wisdom, according to Confucius, is acquired through continuous learning and self-reflection which enables individuals to make informed decisions and navigate life's challenges. Xin, meaning integrity and sincerity, Xin emphasizes honesty, trustworthiness, and being true to one's word which naturally inspires trust and builds strong relationships. Junzi, meaning the ideal gentleman or noble person, Confucius aimed to cultivate individuals with moral excellence, emphasizing traits like humility, generosity, and self-discipline. Shu, meaning reciprocity and empathy, Shu encourages treating others as one would wish to be treated. Gong, meaning duty and responsibility, Confucius emphasized the importance of fulfilling one's roles and responsibilities within society. Zhong, meaning loyalty, loyalty involves being devoted and true to one's commitments, whether to family, friends, or rulers. Lian, meaning integrity and purity, Lian is about maintaining personal integrity and avoiding corruption. Confucius stressed the importance of leading an honorable and upright life. Minute, meaning love for all. Confucius taught that love and care should extend beyond one's family to encompass the broader community and even all of humanity. These teachings collectively form the bedrock of Confucianism. Stricken by the loss of his son and the departure of cherished disciples, he peacefully passed away at the age of 72 from natural causes. Today, Confucius rests in Konglin Cemetery in Tsufu, Shandong Province. His original tomb had an axe-like shape and a raised platform for offerings. As we reflect on the remarkable life of Confucius, we're reminded that his journey wasn't just a story of one man. It's the story of humanity's eternal quest for understanding and enlightenment. Confucius' legacy endures, a testament to the enduring power of wisdom and the belief that even in the most chaotic times, a single person's dedication to knowledge can shape the destiny of us all. Thank you for joining us on this voyage through history. Remember to subscribe to our channel, as we're committed to sharing more captivating tales of remarkable lives.